Alright, so if you've already opened the game and it's just giving you like an error message and a black screen, first thing you're going to want to do is go to Properties, Local Files, and just verify the integrity. I haven't opened the game yet, so I can skip that step. So what you're going to want to do is open up your file manager and go to .local, share, and find Steam real quick. Alright, then you're going to want to go to Steam Apps and compact data and then the folder for spore which should be 17390 right here all right and then you want to go to pfx and then system.reg right here and open that with your uh, favorite text editor all right and just anywhere between any of these like software things so like i'll just put it in here you're going to want to paste in um i'll have this down in the description just this uh, registry entry for spore and then you're going to want to just change your uh, the thing here to your username. So for me, that's just Ezra. It'll be whatever your home folder is. All right, save that. And now the game should be in a launchable state. But uh, one thing you might notice if you open it up just as is, is that if you like try to alt tab out of it or whatever, it's just going to like spaz out, go crazy. So what I do to get around this is uh, I use GameScope to have it like run in its own window. So for Arch and its derivatives, that'll just be the GameScope package available in repositories. I'm not entirely sure if the package is the same name or in official repositories on Ubuntu or Fedora or whatever you use, uh, but just you might want to check that, see if you can get that installed. And then what you're going to want to do is go to the game's properties, and then in launch options, you're going to want to run it under game scope, and probably want to pass F for full screen, and then you're going to want to enter in the width and height you want the game to run at, and it'll probably be the same as your monitor. Uh, so for me that's 1920 by 1080 and then you're going to want to pass that again for output height. I'm also going to pass my monitor's refresh rate with dash R which is 75 for me. If you don't know what yours is, first of all you can probably skip this step. Second of all, most likely it's going to be 60. And then just enter in percent, command, percent. And then that should be enough to get the game running. Um, so you may have noticed I uh, passed F instead of B because B will get you borderless full screen, which generally will be a better experience on Linux. Um, and here you go. I have the game opened up just fine. title screen. So anyway, as I was saying, uh, even though borderless is generally a better experience, um, it does not work well with Spore whatsoever with what I've tried. Alright. Nope, I don't want to use online. Anyway, there you have it running. Um, and you're probably going to want to change the uh, game's resolution as well, and that's going to require restart of the game. So there I have the options I passed with GameScope, and then I'm just going to quit Spore and relaunch it just to show you it works at native resolution. There we have it, uh, running at my native resolution. You'll notice the frame rate is kind of locked to 30 or something, and apparently there's a workaround for that, but I haven't gotten around to try and do a put that in, but right now the game is in a very playable state, and it's not gonna just break if you decide to tab out or something. All right. So if you just want to get in the game, uh, you're good to go, and I'll probably tinker with it, see if I can get it up to 60 FPS, but that's all for now. Thanks for watching.